There are several ways of communication after a total laryngectomy or a complete removal of the voice box. During the immediate post-operative period, you will not be able to speak, and so most patients rely on either writing or texting on a tablet or on their phone. However, most patients, we do recommend some form of speech rehabilitation, and eventually patients will regain some form of speech. The most common method of, of regaining speech is by using a tracheoesophageal puncture and a voice prosthesis. What this is, is a small uh, device that is inserted between the stoma and the esophagus and this has a one-way valve that allows air to go from the trachea or your stoma through the valve and into the esophagus. This then creates a vibration in the back of the throat which creates a sound and then you mouth the words and you're able to speak again. This is the most common form of uh, speech rehabilitation after a total laryngectomy and the easiest for most patients to learn. While it is not the exactly a natural voice and is still very gravelly, this does work well for most patients. Another way of speech rehabilitation is through using an electrolarynx. And this is a handheld device that most patients will put up to their neck. Sometimes they'll hang a little piece out of the mouth and you press a button, it creates a vibration in the back of the throat. Again, that creates a sound and then uh, patients mouth whatever words they want to say. And while most patients are able to use this effectively, it does sound like a robotic voice and many patients don't like using this as their preferred communication. One final way of communicating is through esophageal speech. And essentially what patients do with this is they swallow air and then burp out their words. This is a difficult form of speech to learn and oftentimes patients have a very short amount of speech that they're able to get before they have to swallow more air. And so patients don't typically like using this, although they do prefer that they don't have to uh, reach their hand up to their neck in order to talk. But again, this is a, a difficult uh, form of speech to learn and not many patients use this.